Papa Tapiri, aka Zach. And well, sorry, I had to let my dog kiss me. Dog, my cat. And if you guys didn't see the last video, you're not, um, you might want to because, so, just because it's gonna make a little more sense. So, last episode, Snipe killed Thomas and told you that Snipe, um, Al and Boom were all looking for the bad guys. That's 100% true now because those three are now against with a, and now in the back, which the back is heavy, is basically the command, it's basically all command or special people, usually. Um, so yeah, um, after that mission, Elf Scar went back to base, and this is just the front line of the base. Um, stay, it would be the front line of the base, I don't have a complete base, because, well, haven't yet. So, yeah, like I said, I was working on a project to make army, to make an army, well, that's, this is the entire army. Here are all swordsmen lined up. They have two star, um, three stars in between them each. So, yeah, I, I want to make it look like they're an, an official army. And there's a random RPG here, which isn't supposed to be there. And so, basically, let me go over. Cuffs is back to normal without his hat. Jack. It's Jack. I did find his old self. I'm just going to keep it like this, because, well, I found his old body. Like I said, he got an upgrade in like episode 2 or 3. So which one. Got two of the cops that we saw last episode. And then here is Scarlet. She has a different gun and she's calling for backup. So here is the um, commander of the swordsmen. There's not a lot of them, so there's only one. And he's up here with two little swords on his back, a sword, and two dogs, a newer dog and an older dog, which they're going to use to kill Alpha Squad. Like I said, swordsmen. Who are the actual commanders? Um, he was one of the, the guy you saw on the um, back of the blue truck from last episode. This is him. Um, then we got a couple some others. That guy from the episode he escaped. He's from last episode. He escaped. Um, you didn't. He, he wasn't easy to see. And then he's just a ton of gunmen. Some of these. All of these guys have black torsos. Except for, uh, I know there's one guy that doesn't. Oh yeah, that's that guy, because he doesn't, he has the black torch. So now let's go into the back of the command, um, the command or important bad guys. He was a bomber guy. Um, he was a, like, hunter, mercenary type of dude. He's got a rifle. Like that, and a grenade, which is from Mega Plox. That's why I get most of these. If it's not a Lego gun, it's either a Mega Plox gun or a Creo. Because I, I did buy Creo. Um, that's why I got my Battlefield. I got Lego Battlefield sets. I mean, no, not Battlefield. The um, Battleship, the movie Battleship. I got sets from them. And so that's why I got a couple vests, which I do not have anymore. But I do have one of the guns, and I don't know why I put it. So most of these are Mega Blocks guns. So then we got this guy that we keep seeing. This person right here. Him. Yeah, my flashlight won't turn off, apparently. Apparently, that light, when I look, I did win this. I won this at a, um, um, National Night Out thing in, like, I don't know, like Grand Haven or something. Target, well, I think, my mom looked at Target and they had, like, a Target booth of Mario Kart 8. And if you won, I believe if you're first place, or you were the top of the leaderboard for, um, three or four races, I believe, it was a Grand Prix. And if you're at the top, you got a flag, and every person that played got a keychain, which I lost one, but I just thank you. Yeah. So, main leader, which is going to be next episode, or the episode after that. His face will be revealed. I said in the last one, it might be the end the last one always um sooner and yeah 
So, this is the gun I'm talking about with Creo. This is a Creo gun. Here, right here. Focus. Yeah, he can't get point. And Snipe, he's not wearing all black, but he still kept his hat and his gear. Everyone did. He has his. He's wearing a cop uniform this time, which honestly, he doesn't. He, the person doesn't care. Excuse me. And yeah. He's custom Thompson. And then he's Boomer, which is actually the only one wearing black. His gas mask. And that. And then the heavy. If he doesn't fall and die, give me a minute, I gotta fix him. So here's the heavy. He's got this RPG vest that I know it says police on there, but hey, just deal with it. Yeah. And this is a like platform up here that they were in the middle of like in the middle of construction that they were working on. And this is pretty much episode four, I want to say. Don't quote me on that. I believe it's either four or five. Let me think. Yeah, it's four. Okay. Episode 1 was the first one with the, um, two spots and then the bridge. 2 was the terrorist shootout at the, gra at the like, car show. 3 was the bad guy hangout invade, aka last episode. And then, yeah, this is 4. So this is episode 4. Yeah. So. I think Elf Squad's kind of screwed. Just saying, Elf Squad's kind of screwed. And I do actually have a story for this. Um, stop waiting. I was pointing out how the story went in, but I basically know what's gonna happen. It's this is either going to be close to it's either gonna be a 10 or 15 episode season. Season one will consist of these people right here and those three traders. That was season one. Season two, I'm gonna tell you later. That, I'm not saying that's going to be a new Alpha Squad. I'm just saying. That was season one was with all these. So, next episode I'll give you one hint on what happens. They're captured. This entire army captures those six people. Except for those two cops, they get killed. Um, but, the four members of Alpha Squad left... Are captured. They captured. Well, let's just say some people are gonna be gone. One person, I gotta say, one, two to three, I mean, one to two people are gonna live. It's either gonna be one person or two people. Those, maybe one. Maybe two people are gonna do something. It's gonna have episode two. I mean, season one end. And then that will lead us into season one. In season two. <sighs> Hope you guys are going to enjoy the season. It's going to be really fun. So we're almost done. Probably got um this is season four, episode four, and this is gonna be six to nine episodes. Of captures. No. Six to eleven episodes of them captured and everything, so none of these episodes of none of these episodes are fillers. I'm not just making episodes to fill in. To just fill in space and everything. Last episode had a point. First episode I had to do is just to show them. Episode two was kind of a filler. It's kind of just an episode, an extra episode. I could have cut that out uh, easy, easily, but I just thought, hey, we need another introduction before something out, before some bad stuff happens. So, I'm sorry for all you guys that loved, that liked the character Thomas. He was, I also liked him too. I just had to come up. I'm like, okay, we need to have a reason behind this episode. What is the reason going to be? So I want to have a reason, not just okay. This episode, okay, they're invading the base. That honestly kind of does nothing for the bad guys. There's a number one bad guys in the in number one bad guy bad guy team in the world. I think one hideout isn't gonna hurt them. So I need a reason. So yeah, 
And there's one thing I want to show you guys. Wait, what was it? I had a reason. Um, I had something to show you. But, um, yeah, I have a gun review coming up. It's going to be on a custom plasma gun. Here's going to be a look at it. No, you don't. Um, no, probably be uploaded maybe tomorrow. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the other videos. And Factions Episode 2 and 3 just got uploaded two or three days ago. Last time I checked, it said two days ago. But, hope you guys enjoyed. This is Imperi, a.k.a. Zach. Peace out.